Hi, good morning, Robert Medlin here. You know, there are times when when uh, you've tried everything that you can, you, you've been to the doctors, you've took all the medication, um, things just uh, aren't, aren't working. You're still in pain, you still have uh, lack of movements, things just aren't working right in your body and they're causing you problems and and what do you do at that point? Well, the the way to the way to deal with that is just is to do what the Bible says. And you're gonna to have to become a warrior and a faith warrior. Faith you know, we fight the fight of faith. And so the way we we fight the fight of faith is is that we we take up the the shield of faith and we we gotta get the the word of God in us because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So we have to we have to take action and that action sometimes involves some work um, so James says you know there's some work with faith <laughs> what is the work the work is is to put yourself in a position to be to hear the Word of God so that you can receive your miracle to put yourself in a position to to read um, read through Matthew Mark Luke and John and uh, just look for the places where Jesus healed somebody, where he healed the multitudes, and read those scriptures and read them over and over again and meditate on them and think about what it would have been like to be there at that time, to be that person. Think about what it would have been like to have been in the crowd. and w Put yourself in that in that situation. So read through those Gospels. And, and I'm talking about a, a lifestyle of doing this until you receive your miracle. You know, uh, Proverbs says, My son, pay attention to my words. Listen closely to my sayings. Don't let them depart from your eyes. Keep them within the midst of your heart. For they are life to those who find them and health all their flesh. So we've got to get the words of, of Jesus into our heart. We've got to keep them in our mind. and We've got to keep them before our eyes. Uh, we've got to be listening to them all the time. So... There's some shortcuts you can take. Uh, you can go to to ministries around the world uh, where miracles are taking place, and you'll always find in most in most cases that that uh, there's teaching and preaching before uh, there's prayer for miracles to build the faith of the people, and so that's one way. And many tr tremendous miracles take place uh, all around the world. Miracles are taking place. Uh, through that, through miracle healing meetings, through uh, churches that that really focus on healing, like Bethel Church and in Reading and all the affiliate churches around the country and around the world uh, that really focus on on healing and and they train people to minister healing to people and they build the faith of the people doing the praying and they build the faith of the people who are receiving healing and so uh, put yourself in a position where where there's faith. And surround yourself with people with faith because uh, the man that was uh, Jesus was teaching one time and there was a, a man that was a paralytic and so his friends brought him to Jesus on a stretcher he had three friends that that uh, uh, brought him to Jesus on a on a stretcher and uh, and so they couldn't get in the house where Jesus was 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 teaching so they climbed up on the roof dug a hole in the roof and lowered Jesus Lord lowered this man down uh, on a mat in front of Jesus. And so it says when Jesus saw their faith, he was talking about the people that brought uh, that brought this man to Jesus and the man who himself came to Jesus. He, he had to be cooperating. They didn't kidnap him and, and lower him down through the roof. He, he was a he was a willing partner with them. And so Jesus when Jesus saw their faith, uh, he said to the the, the young uh, man that was paralyzed your sins are forgiven and that's the first thing you need to know is when you're going to receive healing that your sins are forgiven Jesus paid for your sins uh, he's not putting sickness on you you're not suffering a curse because of something wicked that you've done Jesus paid the penalty for that on the cross he already took the judgment and the curse for you on the cross and so so that you can receive freely every promise and one of the promises is that by his stripes we were healed by his stripes we are healed uh, when Jesus suffered, he paid for our healing, that we could receive healing freely. And so uh, Jesus, won't, first thing you need to know is that, is that your sins are forgiven and that there's nothing hindering you. There's no obstacle uh, between you and God. And so 
Um, if God is for you, who can be against you? He who did not spare his only son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not along with him freely give us all things, including healing and the miracles we need? Well, miracles, uh, there's gifts of, there are people that, that the Lord has, an, has anointed and uh, with gifts of healing, with gifts of miracles. Uh, you know, put yourself in a position to, to be prayed for by these people who have special gifts. And uh, so you have to go to be in that position to receive special gifts. Uh, sometimes you don't have to go there. We've known people that have just been watching uh, television and have somebody pray for them over the television and they were healed. And so, uh, but, but generally you have to go where they are. You have to hear the message about healing. You have to have your faith encouraged. You have to have your faith built built up. Uh, faith. So faith is 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 uh, is something that rises and follow and rises and falls. And so you want to put yourself in a position where your faith is high to receive your miracle. You know, the, to prove that your faith rises and falls. You know, uh, Peter, you know, saw Jesus walking on the water. Said, "Lord, let me come to you." So Jesus said, "Okay." So Peter jumped out of the boat, and started walking to Jesus on the water. Well, that was faith. That took great faith to walk on the water like that to Jesus. But then all of a sudden he started looking at circumstances and that's what happens to us too. We start looking at the circumstances. We start feeling the pain. You know, we start whatever it is and we and we get discouraged. And so Peter started, he got afraid. He looked around at the storm and the waves and and the wind and, and he started to sink and he cried out, Jesus, save me. And so we, we need to do that. Jesus, save me. Jesus, heal me. Jesus, help me. So uh, Peter Peter went from great faith to when Peter got Jesus in the boat, he said, "Oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt?" <laughs> so uh, the Lord wants to put it wants you to get in a place where you can have your faith built up, uh, where you can where you can hear good teaching about faith. The Rama Rama uh, Bible Training Center, uh, Rama Church, and in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and some of their affiliates, they teach a lot about healing. Uh, there are many ministries that that specialize in that the Lord has given His gifts of healing, his gifts of a working of miracles uh, around the world, so that you can put yourself in a position to receive from them. So, start out and and get in the Bible and get in the Gospels, read about Jesus uh, healing people, and see how it happened. Put yourself there, see how it happened believe that he wants to heal you and 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 don't be lazy and don't get discouraged by circumstances that that look overwhelming it's impossible it's getting worse things are getting worse sometimes things sometimes things get worse when people pray for you that doesn't mean that you're that you're not being healed that just means that there's a demon that's tr that's trying to a devil you know uh, Jesus healed all those who were oppressed by the devil. Everybody that was, that was that Jesus healed was oppressed by the devil, and so, the, uh, so, so Jesus wants you to be free. Uh, he wants you to be completely free of the devil's power, and with healing, there he does, there's no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus. You're you're not under con condemnation because you're sick or anything like that. Uh, he, free, he wants to freely give you all things. Uh, he wants to encourage your faith so you can believe. He wants you to. He wants to help you get in a position where you can receive your miracle, to be in a place where you can receive your miracle. And I believe in these last days we're going to begin to see special gifts of of healing and miracles, so that miracles become easy and um, and easier. But but you but you have to. You can't be lazy. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta work. And the work is put yourself in a position where you can have your faith built. Put yourself in a position where, where surround yourself with people of faith. Um, when, when, uh, when Jesus, the, when that man, when Jesus said, your sins are forgiven, then they lowered that paralytic in front of him. He said, your sins are forgiven. Then he said, then he said, pick up your mat and walk. So the faith of those guys, those maybe it was four guys that carried him and laid him down through the roof. The faith of those guys letting this man, bringing him, climbing up on the roof, digging a hole in the roof, and or moving whatever tiles away so they could lower this man in front of Jesus. All their their faith was working together to, to bring this man to Jesus. And so when Jesus saw their faith, Jesus saw their faith, 
He said, your sins are forgiven. Pick up your mat and walk. <laughs> so, um, Jesus wants to heal you. He wants you to have your miracle. And uh, But we have to fight the fight of faith. We have to put ourselves in a position to receive uh, a miracle. Surround yourself with people who believe for miracles. Go to places where special gifts of healing for for the type of miracle you're needing are taking place. Sometimes you'll find uh, one minister who it just seems like he has such great faith for for a particular type of miracle, uh, and he see and there's a lot of miracles that take place about in that particular of that type of of of, uh, of miracle that that is needed. And there are other people that have great faith for other types of miracles, and and so uh, get yourself in a position, surround yourself with people with faith. Get put yourself in a place where where people with faith can pray for you, where the gifts of the Spirit are operating. Uh, where you can receive, where you can have your faith built. Uh, and so uh, Jesus wants to heal you. I want to encourage you. Jesus wants to heal you. Don't be discouraged. Fight the fight of faith. Uh, he wants He wants to heal you. Jesus wants to heal you. And if, there's, if you have a will, then Jesus will make a way. So uh, I hope this encourages you. Uh, it's just the, the word, the word of Jesus is just, Jesus' words are life. And they're, 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 word, they're living words. And so when you hear about Jesus, they, they give birth to faith in your heart. And so it's miraculous. Faith is miraculous. Faith comes by hearing the word. Faith is miraculous. And so uh, all we have to do is just let our faith go. And put ourselves in a position where we where we build, where we can build our faith and receive, and uh, and Jesus wants to touch you and heal you, and I just pray, Lord, for for a miracle for the person watching this video that needs a miracle, Lord Jesus, I pray that you will guide them and lead them, in right paths and paths of righteousness that they would receive the miracle that they need, that you would put them in a place where where your anointing and your power uh, is in great great power, the power of the Lord is present to heal. The particular thing that they're needing healing for and i pray for them lord that you would touch them touch them right now and encourage them i pray that that you would do miracles right now even even as i'm praying that you would do miracles right now that that because faith is built lord that you would just pour out your healing anointing pour out your healing power right now lord for the people watching this video and uh, i know i know you're gonna this is gonna be a blessing in your life well, God bless you and have a wonderful day.